Now, people may not remember all the personal attacks that Marsha Clark went through. Her appearance was mocked, her demeanor was critiqued, and during this whole ordeal, Marsha was going through a custody battle. So in a way, Marsha was put on trial herself. I'm a prosecutor, I'm not a model, I'm not an actress, I'm a lawyer. And suddenly everybody's talking about my hair and my makeup. Give me your impressions of Marsha Clark. She seems like a bitch. My hair was permed, but I had two little boys in diapers. I didn't want to be bothered. I'm trying lawsuits. I'm, I, don't, I just wanted to wash and wear hair. And then I just didn't have time to go back to the hairdresser. So I'm blowing it out thinking, oh, maybe they won't notice. Oh. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. She was the only woman in a court full of men, and Marcia says it was used against her, talking about her hair, suits, skirts, attitude. You felt that there was such a oh, yeah. you, yeah. Oh, my goodness, yes. We certainly aren't going to yell at your honor and become hysterical. For Mr. Cochran to make that kind of sexist remark, hysterical, it's extremely painful, I have to say. By episode six, American Crime Story dives into Marcia's personal life, a single mom going through a custody battle, a topless photo published in a tabloid. Sold out the tabloids and raising a three-year-old and a five-year-old and being at work all day and just uh, really breaked over the coals about her physical appearance. And, you know, no nobody would ever have said that to a man, right. you know, too tough, yeah. aggressive, ambitious woman. But Why are is. all those things bad? <laughs> all right. Where is your client? Sarah Paulson wasn't allowed to contact Marsha until she was almost done filming. This restaurant in Studio City, California, shut down for the private dinner, and the two talked for hours. The first thing I said to her when we met in person was, sorry about the hair. <laughs> The first thing I said was, oh my God, I got the voice wrong because her voice is like two octaves higher now because she quit smoking. If this case happened today, do you think there would have been more women to stand behind you and kind of rally for you? Yeah, I think it would be very different. But then again, on the other side, we have the internet now. Can you imagine if we'd had to try this case with Twitter and Facebook and Instagram? Oh my God. I mean, I'm sure your hair would have been made into a lot of memes. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would have been trending, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not, you know, it's not a good way to trend.